I was looking after Peaches when she was married to Max Drummy around that time. Um, it's probably quite a difficult time in her life. She had some ups and downs then, but um, probably not as difficult as the loss of her own mother a few years earlier. And that would have had a, a profound effect on her going forward. Um, so, you know, it was just a case of uh, trying to look after uh, Peach's image as she grew up and matured um, and the difficulty of doing so in the public spotlight. Just to be clear, for those watching the first name you refer to, that was her first husband, of course, wasn't it? Yes, that's right. Uh, and during that time, as you say, that was clearly a hard time for her because, as we were just hearing from James Desborough, she took the view that she wanted to get married in part to find out what being married felt like, and it didn't work out. And that's always going to be a very, very tough time for somebody as young as she was. Mm, yes, indeed. But I think she also had very strong feelings for Max. It was a simple experimentation. It went a bit deeper than that. Uh, but, you know, the marriage didn't work. That's not uncommon. It happens to a lot of people. And um, after she picked herself up, dusted herself down, and, and got on with moving forward. Working with her as you did as, as a publicist, what was her attitude to her own publicity and the fact that she was in the media spotlight as much as she was to some extent whether she liked it or not how did she deal with that well at that time it was a bit of a learning curve for her she didn't actually like being in the spotlight um so she had to learn that because of who she was and the way that she lived her life it was something that she would have to accept and deal with and in the end she did that and she embraced it and she became almost part of the machine which um was looking in upon her. Just explain that a little. How, how did she achieve that? Well, she went on to become, as you know, a writer. Sure. Um, whereas before she was running away from journalists, um, that, that's what she became. That's, that's clever. So uh, having been in her eyes on the receiving end of journalism that she neither liked nor rated, um, it seemed an obvious route to follow to actually start writing herself and therefore putting her point of view across. Yeah, absolutely. If you want to um, influence the media and, and control um, your public image, it's best to put out your public image and, and, and seize the platform. And how will you look back on the, the working relationship that you had with her? Um, every time I think back on it, even though it's frustrating at times, I, I, you know, I'll always smile because she was uh, a very endearing, um, charming uh, um, young lady.